All right, now it's time to combine index and match in a very powerful way. I'll build this from scratch so you can see every step of the way how we're going to do it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to type index. And I'm going to select the area that I want to index. In this case, it's every line item on the income statement. And I'm going to go all the way over to the final period that we could have in this model. I'm going to lock that in place with F4. The next thing I need to do is tell Excel which row to look in. I'm going to find the row that I want with a match function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to match down below here revenue with this series of information here. I'm going to lock that in place with F4. The revenue one, I want to lock just simply the uh, column. And I want to look zero and exact match. And then now I need to tell it uh, which column to look across the top. So I need to type match one last time. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for 2018 which I want to lock at the row now, not the column. And I want to look for that across the top here. And I'm going to select all the way to the end. F4 locks those cells in place, comma zero for an exact match, close bracket, close bracket again, and press enter. So in 2018, let's go up and check, is the revenue 99,133? Yes, it is. Okay, that's great. And we can borrow some formatting from here. Alt-E-S-T to paste the format. Uh, but what I'd like to do is actually see if this is properly set up as being dynamic. I'm going to code all of these around it as blue to indicate to me that they're part of a formula, but they're hard code themselves. Let's try copying this and pasting it here in 2021. Is the revenue in 2021 128? Yes, it is. That's great. Now let's try pasting these down to net income. Is the net income in 2018 4 million? Yes, it is. Is the net income in 2021 6.4? Yes, it is. Okay, so we have now a very dynamic tool here. I can change this to be 2019, and it automatically updates to those years. I can change it to 2020, and then it updates. I can change net income to, uh, let's pick marketing. And now I have the marketing expense. I can actually add something down here. I can have gross profit copies and paste them down. Gross profit in 2020 should be 66.5 million. Uh, gross profit in 2020 is 66.5 million. Uh, so we see that this is working, and this is a very powerful tool for creating dashboards, summary information, and retrieving information from our work above.